Hi everybody, welcome to Throwback Thursday. I am so excited that one of my favorite candles that I have burnt in the past came out in 2015, this early spring before around Easter time. Um, yeah, I'm super, super stoked. And before I forget, Lisa73 underscore, who's a, a subscriber of mine here on YouTube, she's the one who picked this candle out. So I am super stoked that Lisa picked Home Sweet Caramel Comfort. It, it has to be one of my favorite candles I have ever burnt. Combination of scent um, is right up my alley. If you've been following me at all, you know I love bakery, sweet, fruit, foodie kind of scents. So before we go any further, I'm going to get on my Camel Bible here. And I'm going to read to you what I was able to find for a scent description for Home Sweet Caramel Comfort by Bath & Byworks Three Wick Candle. It says, put a spin on Home Sweet Home with warm caramel, vanilla bean, and juicy pear. Yes, yes, and yes. All of the above. Like, the pear could possibly be apple. I know that that was also out there on the reviews for so many people. I had, I had not done a review of this before because I started my YouTube channel after having burnt, like, four of these um this is my last one <laughs> so i would say it doesn't have white chocolate but white chocolate is really there's no cocoa in it so really it's like icing sugar and cream and, and that kind of thing so it, it would be the sweetness of it pear apple interchangeable most pear apple scents from bath and body works can be interchangeable and i swear they just repackage things and switch a pear for an apple at times um, this actually is the lid that came with this candle. It survived the candle disaster. Um, you're not gonna be able to really tell too well, but it was actually dented right down the center from the big, ex yeah, the big accident that happened in my closet where I lost about 53 wick candles. That's just in Bath and Body Works and not to, to mention all the other brands that I lost. So, Scent appeal when I picked up at the store the very first time was uh, Gimme More, 10. And then, I, I like I said, I, I have purchased, I think, five total. This is the fifth one. So I burnt four last year. Loved it so much, it just kept going back. And I think I even saw it at the semi-annual sale in the summer last year. And I scooped up probably the last two at that point as well. It was a 10 even burning even now. Mm. So good, so sweet, your teeth are gonna fall out. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't been this excited about a can a burning a candle in so long because I know I love this, I, maybe that's why. I know I love it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than the scent appeal in the store, 10. Scent appeal now while burning, 10. Throw, Defcon 5. It can compete with things like Summer Boardwalk and it would compete. This is like a single candle alone would be considered to me the same kind of throw that um, a summer boardwalk from Bath and Body Works would also do. Like you know how they're they're like extremely scented and very strong and a lot of people can only handle them for so long before they have to blow them out. Hmm. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, I love this. I like kind of like the 1970s decal along the front it kind of reminds me of when I grew up like my mom like all the appliances were this like avocado green or this pukey amber color but it reminds me of my childhood but as far as the burn let me just say I was walking this so it's that's nothing to do with the burn whatsoever um beautiful mushroomed wicks pooled out 30 minutes each time I've burnt almost half of it. <laughs> there is no issues with this at all, not whatsoever. I have, it's a 10. If I found this at an SAS again this summer, I would scoop up every single one they had. Even if they had 20, I probably would buy them all. <laughs> with coupons, of course, never without coupons. But you guys, I absolutely love this. Love, love, love the scent. And I want to make sure again, as Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Lisa73 underscore. Thank you so much for picking this. It's not, it's, it's up my alley. It's something I know I love and I remembered it. And I didn't want to show too much enthusiasm when I was going through my candles showing everybody. Um, 
because I didn't want to like pick favorites, but this is really good, you guys. And I wish it would come out again, even if this is one of those things that if they do repackage it, as long as you bring it out again, I would be happy and elated. So 10 out of 10 for this. Thank you again, Lisa, very much. Fantastic candle. All right, with that being said, down below in the comment section, first person who says of the four candles I have left in the month of May that, to choose from, which candle you would like me to burn and to review for all of you for next week. First person does that, I will respond and let you know. I see you and we will be burning your candle. So we have four more candles left. There's a couple more weeks left in May before I make my announcement and also onto Instagram. I always take a photograph on Instagram before each um, seasonal throwback Thursday and I'll take a photo of all the candles I'm gonna put in my throwback Thursday options. So it's Kim 1978 Canada's with a K. All right, let's get going. So there's only a few left. The first one's broken. We've already been there, done that. I'm not gonna beat it around the bush. I broke it. That's the Lilac Blossoms Medium. Um, I will melt this if it's chosen. The Lilac Blossoms Hobnail Jar. Bath and Body Works. I also have another medium size like hobnail jar from Bath and Body Works in Honeysuckle. I, a couple of floral, actually they're all floral that's left to be honest. Not even to be honest, you're gonna know that. <laughs> Aquise Pink Peony. And lastly is DW Holmes Two Week Candle and Cherry Blossom Peony. That's it you guys. We're getting down the nitty gritty and I'm really looking forward to the summer scents that I got also lined up for us as well. So you guys, thanks so much for joining me. Lisa73 underscore, thank you so much for picking this candle. One of my favorites. <laughs> so you guys, as always, thanks for watching and be safe.